Yo, 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 this is DJ C, AKA DA, over at Next Gen Music here, alongside. What's going on? This is Bijou, AKA Amon. And we are here today to have a little powwow about our sexy house thing project. It's a house track. It's kind of been in the making for some time. But I mean, it's more than just a house track, right? You know, it's... It's a feel good. It's a, it's, it's, it's the energy that the world needs right now. It's a vibe. Yeah. And it's one of those things where I'm still shocked that uh, as of today that nobody's done this vibe because it's so, it's so obvious, <laughs> right? Isn't it? You know, yeah. sexy house thing, you know, house thing, house music. And you know, obviously there's lots of different um, variations and permutations of house, right? But for this particular um, track, we decided to go with a very sexy vibe. Right? Like, yeah, I think every, everybody can get down with it. You know, it's got some influences of a lot of different sounds, you know, yeah. instruments. And we got Rhodes, we got saxophone, we got... The piano, of course. Yeah, live piano, jazz piano, <laughs> Latin piano jazz guitar. I need to give a massive shout out to all of the collaborators on this project. We've got Vashti Civil from out of Australia, one of the most talented uh, pianists I know, very strong on the Latin vibes. We've also got Maylene Gibbs, saxophone player, saxophonist out of New York that I brought in to collaborate on this project. Also got Greg Diamond as well, jazz guitar uh, player, also collaborated with him in New York. We also got uh, Khalid Alzuma, who's actually my son's uh, piano teacher. <laughs> we got one uh, collaborator right here. Um, oh we God. got we got RGC right here. Um, we're getting down with some vocals as well. And actually, you know, it's actually your voice and vibes. It got the whole, you know, got it all kicked off. <laughs> all right. And then of course we got my man Bijou What's right there. On? You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. He really came in and brought in the vibe. When I first created the project in Cubase back in like 2010, because I didn't have a name for it and I don't, you know, I don't name my tracks too early. I just called it Sexy House Ting. <laughs> Ting, T-I-N-G, right? right? You know, right. that's the, the whole Jamaican yeah. influence there, right? Yeah. <laughs> Started off, you know, with some roads and, you know, a few samples there, but really was kind of going for like a, a 130 kind of uh, Latin vibe, right? And, you know, I just kind of was playing around with it. I think the amazing thing about this track and the collaboration is that through a friend of mine, big shout out to, uh, to Sonqua, Noel Sonqua, DJ Sonqua. Met him in New York. Um, he's, all, he's out in Ibiza right now, tearing it up. He brought Vashti round to the lab that we had in New York. She spent probably about an hour and we just had the track on loop. Mm. And you know, she was just laying down, laying down. And then I would say, I can't remember, maybe a, a year or so later. Again, this project's just sitting there and I'm just randomly tinkering it, with it from time to time, right. you know? It doesn't have any direction, you know, has no goal with the track. Again, just from making connections in New York in the, in the music scene there, talking to various people. Um, I got introduced to uh, Mailing Gibbs. And here's, here's what I, the, fun, the thing that I did with this project. When I brought people to come in and play on it, I didn't play them what other takes I'd already done with other uh, okay. musicians. There was no box. Please. There was no, exactly. So what I did was I just, I muted them and just had them kind of come and throw down like their vibe on it. So I had uh, Maining come round, you know, he did a session, just played sax over the top. And this, the song's seven minutes long, right? So, you know, it was these long takes, right? Of just pure improv. Mm. Same thing with, uh, with, with Greg, he came in, laid down some guitar. The space of those three recordings was like, I don't know, maybe like two, two years, couple of years or so. And then actually we decided to move down from New York, you know, down to T DC and obviously the lab and everything followed me down as well, right? We got connected. Yeah. You, you were working at... At Bonobos. Bonobos yeah. at the time. <laughs> For those who don't know what Bonobos is... Shout out to Bonobos. I mean, it was, it was a cool experience. A uh, contemporary menswear brand just focuses on fit. Um, I'm all about clothing and design, so I thought it was like a perfect segue for me to like learn more about, you know, menswear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I just remember just, you know, just, just getting a vibe from you. Like, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know what it was, <laughs> you know what I mean? It was just like, it was just like a vibe. I know. And then um, I can't remember literally how many times we interacted before. It might have been like two or three. Yeah, it wasn't, like, you know. It might have been just... 
like just a couple times. Yeah. I know you were getting you were getting um, the studio together still, and it wasn't like what it is today. So it was really in the basement. Like well, well it was a basement at, yeah. at the other place, yeah, right? The it, was, it was it was the dungeon studio. Yeah. At that point. <laughs> I remember I remember you playing like a couple tracks, and I was like. Yo, I don't know what kind of speakers he has, but this shit is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, this must have been, what, 2000, 2018, 2019? I would say it was 2019. Yeah. yeah, so like, this is like nine years later on, yeah. and I brought the project back up to tinker around with it again, right? And, uh, and you know, obviously I, it, it progressed and I'd started arranging it at that point because obviously I had to take all of these takes that all of these musicians had done, and then, you know, he I had to, it up. I had to chop it up. I had to actually compose something mm-hmm. listenable, like tangible, from all of these takes, right? Mm-hmm. So even that, as an experience for me, it's it's quite daunting when you've got, you know, 25, 30 tracks stacked worth of instrumentals with different takes, with different improv to actually find something that works. But usually what it is, I just kind of just go in and just cut up and just go with the feeling. And it's like not... gumbo, you know, just like throw it in there and see what, right. see what comes of it. And the thing is, is that I weren't overthinking it either. Mm. It was like cut, cut, cut. I've got so much like that I'm working with. If it sounds good, just go with it, right? Mm-hmm. And before you know, you know, it took some weeks and months, but I had an arrangement which incorporated all of those parts. It was late one night, I'm working on this track, and then all of a sudden, I'm vibing to this thing, and I'm like, sexy house thing, <laughs> sexy house thing. It was whispered to you. Yeah, it was just, it just, it just came to me, and, and I was like, oh my God. And then so actually, I hooked up the mic, and I started trying to do sexy house thing, sexy house thing, <laughs> it's a sexy house. I started trying to do it myself, and I was like, nah, I ain't, I ain't got the voice for this. <laughs> <laughs> At least you were yeah. honest, man. <laughs> but then I lost my, t- I, my dad recorded me, and then I ended up losing a tooth which made this vocal sound smoother. What Mr. Riley RGC is saying is that I had an idea that we, you know, we, were gonna, we wanted to do these whispers, like, it's a sexy house thing, mm-hmm. right? But as he mentioned, my whispers, they, they weren't coming out too good. But this guy, <laughs> his front four teeth fell out. <laughs> his Early baby teeth. Team. Divine timing, dude. All right. Yeah. So anyway, so I called him down um, to put him on the mic and I said, say it's a sexy house thing. And he came out, it's a sexy house thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Now that I go back and listen to it, it's crazy. Yeah. So we also recorded him. So he came on, but because he had no front teeth, and he didn't have the sharp like you know the th- and the S's that you get like the you know the sibilants that you get when you were when you're recording. Mm-hmm. So he's saying it's a sexy house thing, and because he's got no front teeth, that thing is coming out smooth like butter. <laughs> <laughs> it was smoother than butter. It was smoother awesome. I, I had to do huh? no literally no processing yeah. to his vocal like to to his whispers. But again, it was still kind of missing something. So I think like a few days later on, I'm thinking, who can I get? Who can I get on this? <laughs> who can I bring on in on this? I was thinking definitely like, you know, the American kind of, you know, vibe. And one thing that I think kind of drew me into Bijou when I first met you, mm-hmm. it's kind of like your voice. Yeah, like you yeah. got this kind of like deep kind of voice that I kind of really associate like with, you know, like with, with house music and that kind of house vibe, like that kind of, yeah. yeah. You got that kind of deep, like husky. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I never even expressed that before. So the fact that you tapped it out, that's crazy. Yeah. So I don't know. It must have been like, I don't know. It was late. It was like 10, 11 o'clock at night. And I called you just on the whole. Yeah, I was leaving work. I remember. Yeah. And I was like, Bijou, do me a favor. Say it's a sexy house thing. <laughs> this is on the phone. Yes, yeah. yes. And pre preface that the fact that I was in the bathroom and I was like, yo, what? And then I was like, all right, it's, it's a sexy house thing. 
I was like, I'm hoping nobody else is in the other star, like, that hears me. If, if they do, whatever. But I, I, get, I didn't even get the point of it. You were just like, all right, got all right, it. You got to yeah. come back to the yeah. studio. And I said, what are you doing right now? And he yeah. goes, oh, man, I'm just leaving work. Yeah, now, yeah. again, when you think about, like, divine thing, because you work on, you live on the other side of DC. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But yeah. you, but but, I work but, but you worked in the you. mall right close to where we were. So you left work, <laughs> came straight to the lab, yep. put you straight on the mic, and what was it? Yeah, it's like an hour later, he had oh, something. Oh, damn. Uh, later, <laughs> sexy house That's thing funny. was born. Like it was, pro it was prop, it was, it was prop. He still right. got the he cadence, still got man. It. Yeah. <laughs> right. What you brought to it, it wasn't just the hook, because that's really what I brought you in for. Yeah. You know, you st it's all the ad libbing. It's yeah, like, it was yeah. a vibe, man. And then I think we tried to recreate it, just couldn't, because it's just like the energy at that time. Yeah, just like, it was just, yeah. it just, it just lined up. Everything just lined up um, uh, perfectly. And I don't even think you had all the instruments on it yet. You just had a few, you had like the bass. Bass line and like some like of the major instruments, but she didn't really have it all done yet. Was it? It was. It, yeah, it was still in. It was still in flux. And then just to to finish it off, as far as the co collaborator is concerned, <laughs> Riley was doing piano lessons at Guitar Center mm. in Rockville, and we got there early one day, and there was this young guy. He was like he was seventeen at the time, Khalid, and I heard him. He was practicing for his lesson. Mm. And he's been really doing all these like, yeah. you know, jazz gardens and all of that. And uh. I'm looking at him and I'm thinking, I want to hire this kid to come and do some piano lessons wow. for Riley. So I tapped him there and there. I goes, hey, do you teach? He goes, no, I'm here to be taught. But I said, but you're good. <laughs> and he's like, how would you be interested in doing some, some piano lessons? As the track was coming together, even with all of the elements and by this time we're already 300 channels in on this track i mean it's you know we went That's in on this deep. track he can't have a he can't have a track with at least 100 channels <laughs> that you're right about. i mean you know at, at, to that point you know when i write music i don't write a lot of tracks because i'm so busy working and you know producing and bringing other people's tracks to life i actually have this kind of joke with regards to you know being a label boss label owner on next gen is that i actually live vicariously through other people's music projects yeah you know what i mean like you know i'm a part of those projects like i'm like a creative director to some degree you know what mm -hmm. i mean and um so i always have some type of influence on them on what that that end product looks like obviously because you know we're putting it out on our own imprints yeah it just needed there was just something there was just like one more thing missing so you know, so I just said, Khalid, you know, here, here where we're at with it. I've got my keys in it. We've got Vashti, we've got all of these elements. I go, it's like, like, just see if you could throw something on top of it. Khalid jumped on, did his thing, you know, just added these. It wasn't much. It was these this little, oh, really? these little touches on there. Like a dinner, do it No, 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 it wasn't that. But yeah, <laughs> I, I understood. Uh, um, you know, but he just added these, these, these little silky touches of these like, additional roads on top. Mm. And I was like, it's done. <laughs> like, we just need to process this and we need to get it. We need to get it wrapped up. You know, the track's done, it's been mastered. It's all, you know, ready to go. Then we were like, well, it's more than just this. The whole concept and the idea of sexy housing. And I think definitely the pandemic and working on the pandemic mi mix. I mean, we haven't called it the pandemic mix, but I guess we can call it the pandemic yeah, mix right now. It's on work. You know, it made us really kind of re-evaluate re it. And I think the big thing about it, for me anyway, was the house part of sexy house thing. Not house as in the genre house, but house as in the fact that people were stuck at in home. home. Yeah. It's not just about sexy house music. It's about, you know, being sexy in the house. Oh, is my house sexy? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like, like there's so many different... You can make it sexy it, by playing the track. Well, but, you know, mm -hmm. but there's also, or you know... Or sexy music. Yeah, or, you know, uh, covering your ears here, having sex, yeah. right? You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, it's it, there's so many different, like... There's so many ways to throw it. Getting back to the concept of, uh, of you know, sexy house thing and how it's bigger. So again, through 
the pandemic and sitting on it and just thinking more and more about it, we're like, well, you know, we can't just we can't just put this out there, you know, as a one and done single vibe thing, right? I was thinking, you know, we need some optics. We need we need we need some visuals with this. Just going back to your whole vibe, I was mm -hmm. thinking, wow, he's photogenic. <laughs> he's got his own eyewear brand. I was like, I gotta get him on the front cover. So then the concept of that. Um, shout out to uh, Billy French from BF Design Studios who uh, designed the front cover. She did a really great job of taking your whole vibe and just kind of superimposing it. Yeah. In particular with the eyewear, with the glasses and really making that front and center. Yeah, like I really liked it. <laughs> the natural progression from that for me was, we, we, we got to turn this into a cartoon. Like, you know what I mean? We got to turn this into an animation. Yeah. And right? I mean, yeah. it was at a time too where it was like, it was like, you know, during the pandemic, it was hard to connect, you know? So it was like animation, it's like your, your imagination is the limitation to it. Right. So that, I thought that was a really good call. Right, yeah, definitely. So big shout out to Neil, one of our artists, Neil Earth Leakage Trip, L Trip, legendary uh, underground music artist. Look him up if you don't know him. I used to follow his music, you know, a couple of decades ago now. He's been part of the Next Gen Camp since 2008. Mm. He's also a graphic designer, uh, illustrator, and he got into videography and, and, and animation. So, so he's the one who's actually working on a video for us. When is it gonna be released? Sexy house.